welcome to Upper Newport Bay. My name is Carissa with the Newport Bay Conservancy and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to kayak safely. First of all, the first thing that we're going to want to have to make sure that we're safe on the water is our personal flotation device or light vest. We want to make sure that when you have it on, it's nice and snug and that it doesn't come up and over your neck or chin like that. So mine's a little loose. I'm going to want to tighten it up on the sides and on the top to make sure that it fits nice and snug and comfortably and then it doesn't go anywhere. You want to make sure that that way if you're in the water you're going to make sure that you're floating above the surface of the water and that you're not below the water. Alright, now that you're all ready to go out on the water, you have your life vest, let's talk a little bit about paddling safety and getting in and out of your kayak. Alright, so when you're paddling, you want to make sure that your paddle is facing towards you, so the scoop of the paddle is facing towards you, not the opposite way or else when you paddle it's not going to really work as efficiently. So you want to make sure that the concave side is facing at you. Your hands are going to be positioned comfortably about shoulder width apart. Uh, you can use these little discs to help minimize how much water drains down off of the paddle onto you. However, they don't always work 100% of the time. Alright, to paddle your boat forward, you're going to want to extend the paddle straight out and then scoop it into the water towards you. Same thing on the other side, scooping the paddle and pulling the water at you. To break or move backwards in your boat, you're going to want to push the water away from you. And you don't have to do it in any rhythm or any kind of particular fashion. You're just pushing the water away from you to slow your boat down or to go backwards. In order to turn your boat, you're going to want to paddle on the opposite side of the direction you want to turn. So if you want to turn to the left, you're going to paddle on the right. If you want to paddle, or if you want to turn right, you're going to paddle on the left. All right, everyone, to get into your boat safely, um, I'm today riding in a single kayak, but if you're riding with a partner in a double kayak, you want to make sure that the first person gets into the front of the boat first, followed by the second person in the back. You're going to have your shorter or lighter person in the front and your heavier or taller person in the back. Like I said, today this is a single kayak. Either way, when you go ahead to get into your kayak, uh, you want to make sure that you lead with the back and then swing your feet in. So you're going to hold on to the sides like this sit down first and then swing your feet in. Once you're nice and comfortable, make sure your seat back is in a good position to where you're going to be able to feel comfortable riding the whole time. And then you can either have had someone help push you into the water or grab your paddle and shift a little bit to get the boat into the water and then pull yourself out to the Hey everyone, make sure that when you're out on the water that you stay in the main channels. We don't want to go down any of the side channels because there's always a chance that you might get stuck in the mud. And the mud in the bay is super sticky and it smells like rotten eggs. So stay out of the mud.
All right, everyone, just a couple of quick reminders of things that you might want to bring with you on your kayak trip. Make sure that you're wearing sunscreen or some other sun protectant. You can put on a hat uh, or visor. Sometimes it gets a little bright out there. You might want to wear some sunglasses, especially if you have polarized sunglasses. You might get a chance to see wildlife under the water even better. Make sure that you bring a water bottle, preferably a reusable one. Uh, might be more of a workout than you're anticipating, so you want to make sure you have some water. And then dress for the weather. If it's going to be slightly cooler, make sure that you have some uh, layers that you can take off along the way. Uh, don't always plan for it to be hot. Like today, it's a little cooler. So you want to make sure that you have layers that you can layer up or down uh, depending on the conditions. Always check your tides. And if you're going to be paddling by yourself, make sure you, you let somebody else know where you're going and what time you're uh, expected to be back. If you happen to get into trouble while you're out on the water, make sure that you have a whistle somewhere attached to your life vest that you can whistle for help. Have fun, stay safe, and enjoy Upper Newport Bay.